Hello, I'm going to do the daily reading for January 10th. And happy birthday to those of you that have a birthday today. I will be doing a birthday reading at the end and I will put a timestamp down below if you would like to fast forward to that. Please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that to help my channel to grow. Also, this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate for you. All right. We have the Emperor, which is Aries. Oh, we have you, the Capricorn, Devil. And then we have the Six of Wands, which represents success. So it could be a relationship that it's... Um, referring to if you know the or Aries could represent someone who is has things together knows what they want knows where they want to go somebody that's got things together um, so it could be a relationship a very positive relationship oh yeah <laughs> I guess it is a relationship we've got the two of cups right before below the Emperor Oh, and then we have the wish card. My goodness, look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. I just want to make sure you can see it because this is a good reading. <laughs> Princess of Wands, that fire, that passion, that new beginning, that new start. So I feel like for some of you, there may be a new relationship that's coming in, a relationship that you've been wanting, a relationship that you've been waiting for, and it's a successful relationship. A very fruitful relationship with a lot of positive energy um, for some of you it may not have happened yet it hasn't come into place yet and the Empress and the Empress represents a yes card and if you're single it represents real love and romance is on its way which I feel like that is definitely what this is this reading is saying and if you are in a relationship the Empress represents a, a deeper um, more bonding, more affectionate relationship. And also the devil card also represents a very physical, very um, physical relationship, um, a connection. So it could be a positive relationship on all levels. Um, one that you have been waiting for, one that has a lot of power and a lot of energy to it. Um, we have the moon card which represents Pisces and that's right below the Capricorn card so it could be a Pisces. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be um, but I'm just trying to see if there's any other signs but we so we have Aries and then we have Pisces. Um, either one of those coming in but it is a very positive relationship and you have the nine of cups right smack dab in the middle. This is a wish that you've been wanting. This is what you've been waiting for. We've got the two of cups right beside it, having, finding that soulmate, finding that partner. It's passionate. It's, um, a new beginning. I just feel fiery. Like I'm looking at her cape, how it's red and it's, almost like flames coming out. We've got Six of Wands, successful relationship. The Empress, which represents growth. She re also represents birth, marriage, pregnancy. Um, Nine of Pentacles, all those rewards coming in. And like I said, for some of you, I feel like it has not happened yet, but it is on its way. Ooh, I love it. Let's see. We should do some romance angels. Look at that. Two of cups again. <laughs> I mean, this couldn't be any, you know, more of a love reading right here. And you've got two of 
cups below the emperor. You've got two of cups in this line. So definitely a relationship coming in for some of you. And with this five of swords, I feel like, see how he's holding his sword up in the air? And he's like, I've overcome things. I'm putting all of those bad relationships in my past. And I finally found the relationship that I've been looking for. I finally found the one that I want. Um, and I'm going to embrace that. The sun is coming through the clouds there. And temperance. And that represents patience. So I feel like for those of you that it has not come in yet, and this is also Sagittarius, for those of you that it has not come in yet, having that patience, that when the time is right, that this will all come in and happen and fall into place to you, for you. Um, also with the Capricorn card, we have a chain that's connecting two people. Um, so it is this bond that you have with this person and it's a connection that you have. It just feels really strong here. It just feels like it's what you've been waiting for. But I do feel that for some of you, it hasn't come in yet. So you just have to be patient and hang in there. Um, let's see. Um, let's pick... I'm trying to, I don't know, let's just go with our fortune reading. I feel like the, the reading is just so beautiful. It's like, <laughs> there really doesn't need to be any more sad. I mean, the only other card would be the Ace of Cups, but you got the Two of Cups twice. So today could be the day that it happens, if it hasn't happened yet for you, or it may be coming in, you just have to be patient and wait for that, because this is the relationship that's worth waiting for, you know? I think there's that Romance Angel card that says worth waiting for, that this is the relationship that's worth waiting for. Chariot, charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused. Stay strong and focused if this haven't, hasn't happened yet. Don't be frustrated with it. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a lot of good work. You're doing a lot of positive things. And well, like I said, this may not have happened yet. Just be patient. And when the time is right, things are going to fall into place. And you're really going to be happy because this is going to be a very successful, positive union um, and someone that you've been waiting for. I feel like when you meet this person, like you're going to know. You're going to be like, yeah, this feels right. This feels different. This feels right. And I'm ready to charge forward and leave all those past relationships behind me. And it's going to be very, very, very fruitful, very rewarding for you. This is a very rewarding relationship. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time. And I'm going to do the birthday reading next. Hello, I'm going to do the birthday reading for January 10th. All right, we have this one literally flipped over. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate for you. We have Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. All right, Reclaim Your Power. Taking back control of your life. Making those decisions that work for you. That make you happy. And 
not worrying about what other people think or other people say because they're not living your life. You are. So you take control. You take the power. You decide what's best for you and what will make you happy. Seven of Wands, that's exactly... <laughs> That's exactly what reclaim your power means. <laughs> Seven of Wands, standing up for you. I mean, how perfect is that? Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, standing up for you. Releasing those burdens, releasing what doesn't work for you. Okay, letting those things go. Getting that fire, getting that passion. Right now you may be frustrated because things aren't happening, but they will fall in place. Six of Wands, which represents success. Five of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Empress. We have Five of Pentacles right in the middle, so I feel like you may be frustrated, and I think that you have to reclaim your power back, and that's what will help you to move forward. And Ace of Cups, Aces are new beginnings, and Cups is an emotional new beginning, so this could be a new beginning for you. I feel like it's the relationship that you're having with yourself because you're making those decisions that are right for you. It's about, there may have been some heartbreak in the past, and you need to let that go and stop hanging on to it, and that's not doing you any good and you feel like you're moving forward but then you get stuck and you have a trigger and then it brings you back to that heartbreak um it may this may also represent that there may be people around you or your partner or you know someone that you keep fighting with that you're feeling distance from that you're feeling like you're not having that connection and the two of you keep arguing back and forth and that you need to work on that. You need to decide what decisions are going to work best for you to get past this um, because you need to grow and you need to move forward and you need to make those changes and let go of those things that are burdening you and I feel like this is what's burdening you here um, coming right down here you know, having this, these arguments, this back and forth, going back and forth, that it's a temporary hardship, but you need to release those burdens. You need to let those things go. You need to stand up for, for you, and you need to reclaim your power back. And that helps you to feel strong. It helps you to move forward, and it brings you a lot of growth. Um, Ace of Wands, Aces are new beginnings, Putting, having that fire, having that passion back feeling alive, feeling that like you're making those choices, not feeling like you're stuck in mud here and you're muddling around. Um, there may be somebody that's trying to hold you back. There may be somebody that's trying to make decisions for you or you're feeling like you can't make your own because that person won't be happy with you because you're afraid of what they're going to think. But that's something that you have to look at and say, is that really good for me that I'm always worrying about what that person says or that person thinks um, and is that working for me I feel like this also represents reclaim your power like feeling that passion and that fire, taking those steps that you need to. Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Fool. New start, new beginning. Period of rest, taking a rest. Maybe you need to step away from a situation. Maybe you need to step back and look at things, think about things, um, and make those changes that you need to make to have that new beginning, to have that new... St taking those first step to making those changes that are more beneficial to you and taking those first steps to reclaim your power back. This may be something that's going to take the whole year, um, but it's about taking that one step at a time. I think the daily reading for yesterday, the ninth, was about, I was talking about the goat, 
you know, the Capricorn is the go and taking those steps one step at a time and moving forward and making those prog that progress and I feel like that relates to you too is taking things one step at a time making those choices those decisions that are beneficial to you to help you to move forward um, to reclaiming your power about making those choices that work best for you um, once you do that I feel like this is like it's going to snowball and things are going to start moving faster for you. And it's going to be successful, these changes that you're going to make. By releasing these burdens, it's going to be successful. It's going to make you feel positive and it's going to bring you a lot of growth. I feel like it's going to be an emotional beginning for you. I'm looking at these moons here. So like I said, I feel like it's going to take a while for you to work on this. But it's something that's going to be very beneficial for you. And make you feel like you're, you're back in control of your life. Deciding what you want to do with this relationship right here. Because I feel like this relationship is the base and the root of, of all these other things going on. And your frustration and what's holding you back. It's either working on this relationship to where it's more of a partnership um, or adjusting it, like if it's a friendship, maybe not being as close, you know, still staying in contact, but it's not gonna be as strong a relationship or letting go of that relationship, making those decisions that work best for you. All right, this one literally flipped over. We have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. That's perfect. And I feel like that goes with the Four of Swords. It's like I said, taking that break, taking that step back, making those decisions, deciding what you need to do, um, and then putting that plan in place and taking that action to make these things happen. And this is just temporary because I do feel you're going to be able to find those those. That energy, those solutions for you to make those changes and have that growth. And I'm, I this word diary um, caught my eye as I was putting it down. Maybe it's writing those things down, um, and that's what helps you is keeping that diary, releasing those energy, releasing those thoughts, writing, writing that plan in place, writing those things that you want to accomplish. Where do you want to be in six months? Where do you want to be in a year? What are those goals that writing down those goals and having that to work towards and when you're feeling off opening up that diary and looking at that and saying oh this is what I want to do this is this is what I want to accomplish so let me get back to that and let me refocus on that if I have to take a break then I can do that and then I can move forward but these are the changes that I need to make and being able to see it on paper you know, maybe that will help you to reach those goals because you're actually seeing it on paper. All right. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.